happening? I'll tell you exactly what's happening. Welcome back to another Viking Views video. It's viewers right time, innit? I've got a 2017 Audi A1, which is basically a 1 litre TFSI. Stunning car, no doubt, right? It's one of the cleanest A1s I've ever seen. Our boy Grant looks after it. Oh, where's Grant? Grant, get in here. Come and show. Now, this little thing's got a bit of a difference because it's got some adaptions on it, haven't you? Yeah. So, I'm not even going to pretend I know, but I can tell you, you sell it on the left side, etc. Can't you? But tell the viewers what's going on. Well, I got had a stroke when I was doing this, so it affected my whole right side. So, the adaptions helped me with my uh, indicators, wipers, horn, etc. I saw on the steering wheel. Then I got a flip pedal, which I have to use with my left leg instead of my right. Yeah, my it's right trippy, side. isn't it? But yeah. for me, like looking at it, it's like, yeah. like you know, no different, I suppose, too. No. But for me, it's, it's awesome. To if anyone else wants to drive it, like my mum or someone else wants to drive it, I can flip my pedal up and put the other pedal down. How about that, innit? How about that? So awesome. Because normal. Awesome. But what you know, it's, it's a lovely little car, innit? I tell you. Yeah. And I've said it, it is spotless. I'm not even joking. Spotless. So as I said, it's a sports spec. It's got the S-Line wheels on it, 17-inch, Michelin Pilot Sports on it as well. Those wheels make the side of this car. I don't care what anybody says. So obviously side on as well. For me, per on a personal level, I love the whole chrome delete on the stuff. Just the black optics on it makes it look. The contrast, it's lovely. And especially when it's looked after like this, you can appreciate it. And also, I will say, two doors instead of four, much better on an A1. So rear on as well. Still a nice looking car in all fairness. You know, it's just clean. It is all there. And our boy Grant was saying it cost about 21, 22,000 ish when he was new. The spec is on, reversing sensors, etc. And now, after, well, pushing 50,000 miles through years, it's worth about seven, 8,000. So, you know, coming in from a perspective as well, I know this is viewers' rights, but I'm looking at an aspect of, you know, aspect, that's right, got it right that time. I'm looking at it from you guys looking for a second hand car. Would you buy a brand new and when you can pick it up and save all that dollar? It's the Viking views, market saving all the time. Like side on as well, it just flows, doesn't it? Even with the spoiler, etc. That's enough for the exterior. Let's pop on the interior. That's with all the special stuff and the adaptations, etc. are happening. So, oh This is a Lodson Lollipop, which is on my steering wheel. So I can do my indicators, the wipers, and the horn, etc. Then I've got a twin flip pedal, which has got the pedal on the left, so it's easier for me to accelerate and brake with my left leg. And if anyone else wants to drive it, I can take this Lodgson lollipop off on this standard wheel then. And then I can flip my pedal up and put the other pedal down so it's back as basic car. Awesome. So at the point you come to sell it, that's all that'll have to be done to revert it back to as it was. Yeah. Can't use my right hand when I'm doing like roundabouts or yeah. anything. Like two do the steam wheel full, on full lock, but when I'm doing motorway driving, mm -hmm. I can just rest my arm and slide Cause it, straight. It would only be small yes. adjustments. So it's with your left hand you would use, use the wheel to and, wheel. Yeah. and um, park in the left. And with regards to your legs or feet? My right leg, I've got um, a stroke went with me all the way down to my foot. So the whole right side, I've had a brain damage, yeah. But um, that's from birth. But um, that hasn't stopped my life what I want to do. I was a, a shop putter, traveling. When I was younger, I was training with Nathan Stevens. So yeah, in the Paralympics. Living your life? Yeah, living, living my your life. Best life. Living my best life. How many motor adapted cars have you had? I've had two before this one, so this is my third. What did you have before this? I had a Fiesta Titanium. Okay. That was my 2011 car, that was my first car. Then I had another Titanium, which was the 2014 model. And now, 2017, I had this Audi A1. But obviously, you know, 2020. 2020 is the year we are now. I'm getting BMW 1 Series. So you've got a high uh, step. So you've got a three year turnaround, basically, yeah. that MOT yeah. needed to get them out. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how it used to be, and yeah. that's the same, obviously. 
Is there anything you would change about them that would make life easier for you, or are they perfect? They are perfect yeah. for me, yeah. Because obviously somebody else with slightly different needs and, and layout and setup yeah. and everything else, they would need different bits, but, but that's absolutely perfect for you. Yeah. Pretty much. Could you just unscrew the bits on this car and stick them on the new car and then push? No. No? I would have to pay for the adaptions, but it's only, it's not a lot, it's only 50 quid. 50 quid, is it? Just for that, for the lobs and lollipop, and then I think the pedal's free. The ignition's on now, Yeah. so I can go like, it's not bad, isn't it? It's not bad. Oh shit. <laughs> I, I know I didn't do it. You can mess with people's heads. So I can mess with anyone. So even if I give this to you or Jordan, okay. and then you can go out the front, you can see what it does then. You put a windscreen washers on and all sorts of that. The lights, everything on there. Yeah, lights, indicators. Right, check this now. Literally, as he said, you can pull it out, right? You can take it with you. Right, so literally, this is trippy. It's like being in the movies or something, right? So you could play hell with people. I'm not even joking, right? There's no one in this car. Check this. There's no one, right? Follow me. Keep doing it. Oh. Keep going. Don't want to do it, you car. No, no, no. <laughs> um, you indicate there's everything on you, innit? Cancel it, just press the X, stand on the bottom. There you go. <laughs> Literally, right? I'm also with the news, I don't know what the way it is. I used to have a remote control car, are you? Literally, right? when I used to do them, yeah, I'm used to playing like with the little micro cars or whatever, innit? Not like this. This is full size. Tell you what, the only thing I'm missing is a little remote control, and I could have some fun with this thing, I tell you. Check this. Push! <laughs> That's awesome, man. So the car has a couple of quirky little features, aside from all that amazing adaption stuff, which is a little bit, well, I'm sat here now, right, with the pedal in the opposite way to where I would normally. Yes, I can flip around, but still, I like the fact on these with the screen. You can press it down and you can hide it. But I said the only real one negative I pick up is simply the size of the car. But then again, I'm extra large anyway. I'm larger than life, you know what I'm saying? I'm 6'4", the seat is all the way back. And for me, personally, I'd love to go back a little bit more. So, in the back, I wouldn't be sitting. That's not me sitting in A1 either, because, you know, you know your sort of car you want when you're looking for them, aren't you? So, you know what I'm saying? It's a lovely little car. It's an ideal little car. It's a fun little car. Right, so coming out as well, being a sport model, it's sort of mid-range just out there, I think, off the top of my knowledge anyway. You know, you've got S-Line above it, Black Edition, etc., and, of course, the S1. But it's a nice little spec. It's got everything you would expect to find in it. You know, your DAB radio, etc., only thing really that it hasn't got is auto lights, auto wipers. You know, you got your aircon. It's got everything in it. You know, and what I like about these models as well, they come with the nav buttons already there, but it, the nav isn't set up in the car. Um, you know, you can book it as an optional extra. You know, book it, buy it, tick the box in it. Um, what you can do, you can go like to your local Audi guys, one of these if it doesn't have the nav, and you can have it retrofitted in Audi. I think it costs around two to three hundred pound, depending on what offers are there. So you can add the nav in, no problem at all. The button is there. Oh. Right, so around the back as well, boot size isn't the biggest, but it's a small car, so what do you expect? You know, you can get a couple of bags in there, you no problem. You've got the lovely little pull as well there. The little plates, when you're going to do it, you're not going to scratch the bumper, which is always good. No spare tyre on these either, you know, it's literally got the floor there, and down you've got the usual kit. And to be fair, you could put some stuff and hide it under there, no problem at all. I completely, honestly, right, that thing went, the weight of the bag, I just pushed it all down, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Right, so there we go, that's the top sort of section that we've just seen now. But I like as well, to add the depth, want to go in depth, one of the fans it is. Um, let's go down. Now you're talking, let me just grab a bag. That little boot has all of a sudden come a little bit bigger, hasn't it? And also, I was going to close it, I'm not going to forget this out. I love the fact as well for the safety measures, you've got the lights on there, so if the tailgate's open, you've got your lights on, etc. It's dark at night. You're not going to get run over because your normal lights are up there. They take over until that point. You're done. Job's a good one. Right, so it's final thoughts time. My questions go towards you because you're in a prime position. You've owned this car for nearly three years. You know, good points, bad points. But we'll start off. Why did you buy this car? Why did you choose it? I chose it because I wanted something different than a Ford. Because with my last two previous cars I had, 
the gearbox went. Right, okay, yeah. So I had always trouble with all the cars, the, the last two cars I had. I wanted something re more reliable. Yeah. I know my friends recommend me an Audi. I, I will as well, you know, Audi reliability, always, completely. So my mum and dad wanted me to have an Audi. So that's why I went. I went to see one of our fellow friends called Andrew. Andrew, Llewellyn, Andrew. Llewellyn. Shout out to Andrew Llewellyn, Sinclair Audi. I hadn't even got to do it in. Yes. Good boy, Andrew. Uh, so he sold me the car. He told me, oh, would you like to have any add-ons on it? So that's when I went for the nice 17-inch alloys. And they make the car, don't they, in all they fairness? Do they, do, they do make it look good. So, positives in your ownership about it. Got anything good to say about it? I know you've just ruled off for some good things, yeah, but... The good things are the alloys why I've added. I'm really gutted that I've gone for a BMW instead of an Audi. Audi fanboy's crazy year, isn't it? I know. But to be honest, so yeah, you're having a well, new 1 Series, isn't it? 1 Series. So yeah. the brand new shape 1 Series. I'm excited to see that as well. That will be coming onto the channel. Um, any negatives about the car? Anything you wish maybe it had different or anything did ever break down, go wrong with it? One thing did break down on it, which was the when the acceleration doesn't go. Right, okay, yeah. It's like a fan blow or something. Right, okay, yeah. So it had a misfire and then it died really yeah. on the side of the road. So I, I only had it off the road <laughs> for a day or two. Yeah, there we go. At least Tuck sorted it out within and a day. That's the amazing so, thing with the customer service of Audi and yeah. put you in a car straight away as well. Yeah. That's why I always big up my boys at Sinclair and that's why I always go back there as well. Yeah. You know, but I say you look after it, it's one of the cleanest A1s, especially with 50,000 miles on it. Like two little boys walk past and they were like, is that a brand new car? Same too, and you two were yeah. chatting. Literally, that's what it looks like, it's a brand new car. So, it's been a pleasure having you on the channel. What, anything else you want to say? I would love to have my BMW, as we said. So, yeah. that's pretty much about it. That's it, so awesome. Dude, honestly, thank you so much. Thank you guys as well. Literally, hit like if you like it, you know, subscribe to it, share it around, tell everyone in it, you know. If you want to see your car featured on the channel as well, get in touch with this boy, as, and you can be standing here with the Vikings. We're not even charging, honestly, I'm joking. Uh, no, we appreciate all the love and support always. And yeah, man, chill time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Boosh.